Set in the world of voiceover artists, an underachieving voice coach finds herself competing against her father for a lucrative voiceover job. As this film is the feature length debut of writer director Lake Bell, she's done a, a couple of um, kind of uh, shorts in the past and she's also directed um, some episodes of something called Children's Hospital, which I've never heard of, but anyway. But and I didn't know anything about this film going in. I knew that it was a Sundance Film Festival where it got quite a lot of praise. I believe it was this year, could have been last, no, it must, it must have been this year because it was made this year. And uh, yeah, I didn't know anything about this film going in. I'd never seen any trailers, I didn't even know what the plot was. So I went to this film blind, and uh, it was a, it was an okay film. I mean, it was a very good um, debut from uh, from Lake Bell, anyway. Very well written, very very funny script, I have to say, and uh, very well directed. It's got that kind of just that American that American feel, the kind of I can't remember where it's set, like the kind of the Manhattan skyline or whatever. I can't remember, I can't remember where it's shot. Great cast as well. Got Lake Bell starring, as well as the writing directing. We got um, Fred Melamed, we got Ke uh, Ken Marino, Nick Offerman. Why that guy? When why Nick Offerman isn't in, isn't in ev any every comedy film ever? I don't know why. Uh, Dimitri Martin, uh, Eva Longora makes a cameo, and we've got a, a great cast of re really good kind of kind of uh, comic actors. Uh, not that they're kind of, kind of pigeonholed as that. I've also got uh, Rob Corddry as well. And uh, yeah, she's re re very well directed. Very, 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 I say it's a very, very funny script. I have found myself laughing out loud on a number of occasions. And also, everyone else uh, seemed to quite enjoy it as well. I heard a lot of laughter in the screening I saw, and it was really, really good. I mean, the negatives about it is it at some points it didn't kind of quite know what it was. I mean, was it just like a straight up comedy? Was it a kind of family drama? Was it kind of um, kind of like flagging up kind of gender? Kind of like kind of job gender issues. I don't know, quite know what it what it was at some parts, but uh, uh, but uh, I can overlook that. Seeing as a um, a kind of debut, and I say she really like Lake Bell really knows how to kind of what like what to shoot, what not to shoot. She kind of she knows how to work a camera. I'll say that some really nice shots, like I say, of kind of wherever it's set, the kind of skyline, and kind of kind of the really nice buildings as well. But it had that kind of that really kind of in like kind of American indie film feel, which I really like. The kind of the not very well known kind of. I mean, the best the, one of the best feelings in the world for me is kind of um, is um, kind of finding a film that really kind of that not many people know about and feeling finding like a really good film that I could recommend to people. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this to everybody. I mean, it is a little bit slow going. If you're not kind of into that kind of that indie film feel, I really um, wouldn't read. I'll give it a rent at least. Uh, you say uh, maybe find it on Netflix or whatever when it comes out. But yeah, all in all, a really, really, very uh, good effort from Lake Bell. There's not too much to say about the film. Uh, she does a really good job playing the uh, lead character. I don't know why Nick Offerman isn't in every comedy film. That goes to Melissa McCarthy, which is fucking annoying. But anyway, like I say, really kind of nice indie film feel. Uh, like I say, not. It's not anything amazing. I wouldn't say I kind of rush out to see it, but I'll say if you're a fan of those, those kind of films, I'd definitely give it a go. I'd give it a good 7 out of 10. Like I say, it wasn't amazing. I laughed out loud quite a lot. Uh, it's when it kind of got to the, kind of the serious stuff, like I said, it was kind of trying to say something about kind of kind of gender issues that didn't quite work, in my opinion. But all in all, very good first effort from uh, Lake Bell. Um, I think... Not sure if she's kind of anything in the pipeline to direct anything. Like I say, she directed a, a couple of shorts and some kind of main, mainly TV shows, really. But like I say, very good effort. Give it a good 7 out of 10. So, yeah, I think I'll do. That's my review for Inner World. Um, if you've seen the film, please uh, comment down below. And if you want to see the film, please comment down below. Uh, as always, more reviews coming in the future. So until then, please rate, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.